the automatic packet reporting system. It's built into so many high-end hand portables these days, but when you switch it on, it's often disappointing because there's no infrastructure to receive and relay your signals. I look at how to fix that problem with your own portable and mobile eye gate. Hi, I'm Richard G3CWI with Soda Beams, and today we're going to be looking at the automatic packet reporting system and how you can set up your own infrastructure so that the signals from your hand portable can be relayed to the wider network. An eye gate is an important part of the infrastructure. It relays the signals from your hand portable back to the internet. I have a motorhome and I quite like to combine going away in my motorhome with my SOTA activities. And it's fun to track my position using my hand portable radio while I'm out on the hills. But frequently there's nobody there to receive the signals, so my packet position reports get lost. So I'm going to get run through this solution that I came up with for using in my motorhome. It works just as well when the motorhome's stationary or when the motorhome's moving. It's actually pretty easy to set up a portable and mobile eye gate. Although to be fair, I went down quite a few dead ends before I reached the final solution. So to save you time and money, I'll run through how I did it. You just need three things. The first is some sort of internet connection. I use a MiFi, which is just a unit that uh, connects to a, a mobile phone network. You just buy a prepaid SIM, put it in, and it provides you with an internet connection. The second is you need some sort of modem that's going to connect everything together. And the one that I found which is best by far for this particular application is the Tracker 4 from Argent Data Systems. This is a really cool unit. It has built-in Wi-Fi. It's easy to operate and it's easy to set up. You can actually dial into it direct from your mobile phone and make all the adjustments that you need to set up your eye gate. And the third item is simply a receiver of some sort. A hand portable will do great. Uh, I use a really old Yaesu hand portable for my uh, mobile eye gate and this works really well. Of course you need an antenna. Uh, the, the stock antenna on the radio won't give you a very great range, uh, but I have an external antenna. We'll have a look at that in a second. The antenna that I use is a simple collinear, which is mounted on top of three fiberglass poles. It's quick to erect, very stable and stores easily inside the van. The mast is attached to the van using suction clamps which are available from soda beams. Once the aerial's up, connecting the system together is really simple. The MiFi is a self-contained unit, just needs a USB power supply. Dead easy, just switch it on and away it goes. If it gets a mobile phone signal, it'll light up and give you a connection. The next thing is connecting the Argent Data uh, modem to the hand portable, very simple again. You need the audio input for the hand portable Argent Data supply leads for this um, unit. You have to buy them separately, but they do supply leads, so it's simple enough just to add on the connector onto the Argent Data Systems unit, and then this just plugs straight into the hand portable. Great, that's nice and easy. Now the hand portable is obviously just running from its internal batteries at the moment, but Argent Data are really clever people and they supply a power pole connector uh, connected to the tracker which is going to give you 12 volts so you can actually su supply your radio as well if your radio works from a 12 volt supply. So with just a simple lead, this isn't supplied this particular lead, but just a simple power lead for your radio and then your radio is actually powered through the whole network. Uh, now you need a 12 volt source to connect into the Argent data system and I've got a nice little distribution system in my motorhome. And the only other thing you need uh, is the uh, GPS antenna. Uh, the GPS antenna allows the tracker system itself to know where it is 
and that allows the, the, the tracking system to work properly. You don't absolutely need the GPS antenna but it's a, it's a useful thing to have and it comes anyway with the Argent uh, system so that's really another really good thing about it. Uh, I'm obviously still using the external antenna on my radio here so I'm going to plug that into the antenna that I've just put on the outside of the van. And there we are. So with just a little bit of simple setting up you can connect your mobile phone direct into the Argent data system. It sets up its own little Wi-Fi network. Uh, a simple amount of setting up and you've got yourself a portable or mobile eye gate. The other thing about the GPS antenna of course is that uh, when you're driving along it actually allows your eye gate to move as you're going so that's another reason why you'd want a GPS antenna connected to the Argent data system. Let's see how it works. Here are the results that I got while out on a walking trip using my FT2DR from Yesu. This has an APRS uh, facility which allows me to plot my position. As you can see the position has been reliably recorded throughout my walk and gives me a good indication of where I was getting back to the van. I hope you find this short video interesting and perhaps it will inspire you to set up your own mobile or portable APRS eye gate. It's a lot of fun and well worth doing. Thanks for watching and if you did find this video interesting or fun to watch please do remember to subscribe. By subscribing you'll be one of the first to hear about my new videos and that means you'll be in with a chance of winning some of the giveaways that I'm going to be doing in the future. Thanks for watching.